Welcome everyone, Spencer here from Finite Cards. Today I'll be bringing a video, our first deck challenge video. Uh, my deck is based around uh, Megaton Magical Cannon and getting enough spell counters to use that and wipe my opponent's field. This duel is against Brad's Dark Mist deck. Uh, pretty good, came down very much to the wire. Unfortunately, the uh, recording sort of cuts out towards the end, the last couple turns, which... Uh, it, it's so annoying, but the duel is still pretty good, so I, I do want to uh, show that. And I, I will be doing another duel just to uh, show off the deck a little bit more since this one kind of cuts off towards the end. So uh, let's get it right into it. So here we go. We got uh, my first turn. I draw pretty well. As you can see, I got the Magical Exemplar. I, I have plenty of draw cards. I'm able to uh, get off... Um, a total of five magic cards, of course, to get the ten counters on Magical Exemplar. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, Magical Cannon, and it's not that great to do on the first turn. Uh, I am able to use two couple of aces. Unfortunately, one goes to Brad, so he gets an extra couple of cards. That is sort of the downside of Cup of Ace, but I, I kind of just play it for fun. Uh, I do play the Swords of Revealing Light to prevent him from hopefully attacking and destroying Mag Magical Exemplar. So hopefully I'm able to uh, keep it out uh, in order to draw the Megaton Magical Cannon. So of course I do have the 10 spell counters. Brad's able to set 5 and set a monster, his Apprentice Magician. Uh, so he sets uh, Dark Bribe, Number Wall, Forbidden Land, Straining Shield, and Mirror Force. So he's pretty well set up. Uh, unfortunately my deck does not run the most destruction or really any destruction at all. So I, I am going to have to watch out for that have to play around that, but uh, the Megaton Magical Cannon is, is what I'm hoping for uh, here pretty soon, so I can uh, ditch 10 spell counters, or ditch 10 spell cards, or spell counters, and uh, destroy all of his cards. He does have the uh, Dark Bribe for that, though, so that is a bit unfortunate, but of course I did not know that at this time, so I'm going to play my Medulce Magilene, get another one, and I, I make a, a rather foolish play here, um, and use my uh, magical Exemplar to go into a Downer Magician. I should have, uh, I'd, it was more of a misclick, really, because, uh, I was just, uh, looking at the cards, and I thought Downer Magician, but then I realized Inari Fire is a Pyro Monster, I'm like, crap, and I don't want to play that, but it was too late. So, I have the Downer Magician, I'm gonna attack into the Prentice Magician, luckily I am going to deal the, uh, deal the, uh, <laughs> piercing damage, which is nice, but he is going to get his Magical Undertaker. Uh, if he had activated his Mirror Force or Draining Shield, I could have uh, uh, prevented the targeting with Spell Book of Wisdom, but of course he could have Dark Bribed. Um, and then I attack with an Ari Fire. He is going to use the Mirror Force. I'm going to protect my Downer Magician there for the turn, so I can keep that on the field. And he is going to go ahead with his turn. He's going to use his Magical Undertaker to grab an Apprentice Magician. Uh, Unfortunately, I did not have a card that can uh, get spell counters because he would have uh, had to use his uh, Apprentice Magician to give it a spell counter, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, Swords of Revealing Light. I maybe should not have played that right away, but uh, it wasn't a terrible play. And I do get my Inari Fire back because um, it was destroyed by a uh, effect from my opponent's effect, so I, I do get it back at the next standby phase, which is nice. Uh, I'm glad Brad recommended that for this deck, because it's turning out to work really well. Um, I'm going to use my Mystical Space Typhoon, take out his number wall, and summon my uh, my Summoner Monk, ditch the, ditch the Cup of Ace, and go into a uh, Magical Exemplar, and go into Masquerade. Now, this is going to come into play later on in the duel. I should have used Masquerade's second effect to ditch a card from the top of Brad's deck. Unfortunately, I don't do that. Um, he is going to Forbidden Lance my Downer Magician, and that is going to save uh, material on his Gachi Gachi, which is going to come in handy. He's going to use his Apprentice Magician, uh, summon his Crow Crow Crow, and bring out number 65, which is important here because um, he can use his effect to negate or to detach two materials and negate the activation of, of an effect, which is going to come into handy. Uh, but he is going to use Rank of Magic Barrier's Force. I accidentally activate Spellbook of Wisdom for some reason, thinking I can act. 
so for some reason thinking it's Forbidden Lance and uh, um, that I can use it on his number 65, but I cannot, so that was kind of a waste. Uh, he's going to get up into his number C65 and cut my attack in half. He isn't able to attack that turn, which is why he couldn't get over my Masquerade. But I am going to try to destroy his number C65, uh, but he's going to activate the Draining Shield. I'm going to try to prevent that with the Spellbook of Wisdom, but he Dark Bribes that. So I am not going to be able to get that off this turn, and I'm really not going to be able to do much besides uh, activate the card trader that uh, he let me draw through Dark Bribe. And that is that card trader is going to come in quite handy. Uh, as you saw there, I had Masquerade on the field a second turn. Um, so I definitely should have used that effect again to mill Brad a card. Unfortunately, I do not. I'm left with the Down and Perdition with 1,100 attack. Now, luckily for me, I have the Medulce Magilene. I'm going to be able to attack over his C65 and grab another Spellbook of Power to finish up the turn and destroy his Apprentice Magician uh, and deal 100 damage. So it's a pretty pretty close match here right now. Uh, Brad is going to just use his Magical Undertaker to summon the Apprentice Magician again. Uh, he's going to go into the... Um, uh, ga ga what is it? Gagaga... -ga Gaga girl, not Gaga girl, but uh, Gaga child, and he's gonna use those three to summon his uh, number 96 Dark Mist. Uh, that is going to be able to destroy my Magilene. Luckily, it's gonna go shuffle in the deck, which is which comes in handy surprisingly. Uh, as you saw there, I finally got the Meg Me uh, Megaton Magical Cannon, but I unfortunately do not have uh, I do not have the 10 spell counters on the field anymore. It came in way too late. Uh, but I am able to draw the Mystical Space Typhoon for use later and attack into his Gachi Gachi uh, to get rid of one of the, or his final material, so it is going to be able to be destroyed, and it doesn't give any more attack boost to the uh, Dark Mist, which it doesn't need. But uh, my attack goes back down to 1100. He is going to be able to use a Summoner Monk, ditch a Shrink, and go get his Gaga Magician, go into number 66, and protect his number uh, 96 Dark Mist. My deck currently does not run uh, any trap cards, so he doesn't really have to worry about that, but uh, it's always a good play to uh, protect your Dark Mist through the effect of number 66, so that's a, that's a pretty good feature of his deck. Uh, he is going to be able to take down my Downer Magician and attack for 2500 with his number 66. Luckily, I draw the second Swords of Revealing Light. That's going to help me uh, stall out for a couple turns here. He does have the Dark Hole, but of course, he has monsters and I don't. Uh, I get the Inari Fire, Inari Fire. I don't want to use that right away. Uh, so I go ahead and just hope that he doesn't get a Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy my Swords of Revealing Light. He does not, so I am able to survive the turn. Um, I draw a Summoner Monk, which I, of course, do not want to play either because I want a Spell Card to Ditch to summon a monster. Um, and I don't... Both of these cards are good, so I don't want to card trade them away. But hopefully I draw a Spell Card next turn. Uh, he does get the Gaga Kid. Uh, he's the Wonder Wad, but I do have the Mystical Space Typhoon, so he is not able to sacrifice it to draw two cards for an answer to my Swords Revealing Light. So I do draw the Upstart Goblin. I'm able to use Summoner Monk to summon a Defender. Special Summon an Inari Fire because I do have the um, uh, Spellcaster Monster out. I'm able to go into Evil Swarm Ouroboros to get rid of his number 96 and send it back to his extra deck. And I'm able to attack over his number 66, Master Key Beetle. So he's just going to go ahead and Dark Hole here because he doesn't want to have to deal with that Ouroboros anymore and set his number wall. I do find <laughs> I do get the field spell. I probably should have kept that honestly uh, for future spell counters, but instead I traded away in hopes of getting a monster to start attacking into Brad. Uh, I get the magical ton ma or megaton magical cannon instead, which is a tad unfortunate. He doesn't really want to summon his uh, Sam Bell the Summoner. He's going to want to save that for an Xyz play later on, so he doesn't summon that to poke for 600 or anything like that. Um, I just get rid of the Magical Mallet. Unfortunately, I get the Mystical Space Typhoon. I just take out his number wall. I probably should have saved that, really, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, he's able to just go in for 1,500 with his Gaga Magician. Uh, luckily, I 
am able to use the card trader to get an Anari Fire, I'm just like, I want this Gaga Magician out of here, so I take it out, uh, bash into it with my last Anari Fire, which is kind of a shame. Uh, luckily, I draw the Magical Exemplar here, so I'm going to go ahead and summon it, but he has that bottomless, so... Uh, I'm not able to do much. He doesn't want to summon both of his uh, um, sandballs yet, apparently, so he doesn't. He he does draw a Dark Bribe, sets that, which is going to come into play later. Uh, I get the uh, uh, Medulce Magilene and a book or card trader for a Book of Moon. The Magilene is going to get me another Magilene, which uh, is very nice, and I'm able to poke in for 1400 so I'm starting to get a little bit of damage on him. Uh, he does set the Magician of Faith. Um, I get rid of the get rid of the uh, what was it the Upstart Goblin for um, and I get a Defender with my Card Trader. Uh, get a Magilene and go into uh, Queen or Medulce Queen Tiramisu and send both of his cards to his deck uh, along with getting two. Uh, Medulce Magilene's back into my deck, which is definitely going to come in handy. So I'm able to attack for 2200. Uh, he does draw um, a Lure of Darkness, uh, gets rid of the Gaga Child, and uh, sets the Magical Undertaker. Or, yeah, Magical Undertaker. I get the Shard of Greed. I'm starting to get some counters up on the Magical Citadel. He's able to special summon, and here, here's where that uh, spell counter comes into play. He's able to place, he has to place it on my Magical Citadel. So, uh, I go ahead and attack into his Apprentice Magician, killing that off, but he's going to special summon the Magician of Faith for use next turn. Um, and it is his turn, so he is going to set the Mirror Force, or no, my mistake. He is going to get the Wonder Wad to draw two cards. Uh, which is nice. He has he the triple Sambel the Summoner. Uh, goes into a number 96 Dark Mist. He has the perfect counter for me uh, getting rid of his Dark Mist, though. I, I thought I was going to be able to get rid of it easily thanks to that Book of Moon that I put into my deck, but unfortunately that is not the case. Um, I just go ahead and card trade the Magical Mallet, get the Dark Hole, which is alright. He shrinks my Defender, so that's not going to destroy it. And then he has the Mirror Force for my Queen Tiramisu. I am able to save the Defender through his effect. Uh, got rid of a spell counter on uh, Magical Citadel as opposed to himself um, to save it. Unfortunately, he uh, is able to uh, attack over and get some extra attack through um, Dark Mist, of course. Uh, that is going... I protect it with my... Uh, my effect again, Defender's Effect. Um, I'm starting to get the Spell Counters, luckily. So I do uh, uh, <laughs> I do start to rack those up. I use my Shard of Greed to draw a couple. And Dark Hole, hopefully to protect my own Defender, so I can get in for like 800, not a big deal. Uh, and destroy his Dark Mist at the same time. But now he has the Book of Moon, is able to flip my Defender down... Um, and just, and have that destroyed as well. But I do have the Magilene. I'm able to draw another one. Uh, I just sort of uh, decide to throw my cards back into my deck through Magical Mallet and see what I can uh, draw and just deal him uh, 1400 So here's, here's where it starts to get interesting. We don't have very many cards each, so he doesn't draw anything. I, I just decide to get rid of my... Um, Cards start racking up uh, to try to get 10 spell counters just in case he starts getting cards on the field with his last eight. So I do have a magical ton uh, mega cannon or mega ton magical can cannon left in my deck. Um, I'm just getting the spell counters at this point, and I go in for 1400. So here we are. Uh, I have 2000. He has uh, 1950. Very close duel. We both have uh, six cards in our deck. He, it, he does get the Gaga Academy Emergency Network to get his Gaga Magician to attack over my Medulce Magilene, which is pretty awesome. Uh, just goes to show every card in your deck should be useful. Uh, he has five cards in his deck. Unfortunately, I didn't use that number 104. He'd have three at this point. Um, he attacks into my Magilene. That uh, goes back into my deck, luckily. Uh... I go ahead and uh, get rid of my Upstart Goblin. I don't really want to draw at this point because, um, of course, 
this may end up being who um, who runs out of cards first. So I don't I don't want to do too much drawing. Um, I am able to use the Megaton Magical Cannon, getting rid of my 10 spell counters on the Magical Citadel of Endymion, and taking out his uh, Gaga Magician, which is nice for me. I I have another Magical Ton or Megaton Magical Cannon in my hand. Unfortunately, the One Day of Peace um, doesn't really net me much uh, much advantage because uh, although he can't deal me any damage, it's 1900 and 1950. He can't deal me any damage this turn. Um, and I did make him draw. I didn't draw a monster, so I'm not able to attack into him. Uh, and this is sort of where the recording cuts out. So I'm just going to pause it right here. And I'll, I'll sort of tell you the ending as best as I can. Uh, inevitably, um, we both have just a few cards <laughs> in our decks. Um, I mostly have um, spell cards in my deck besides... Uh, I think I have maybe one Magilene left. But... Um, I'll just go ahead and check here, um, or I'll check my deck, that would make more sense. Uh, I do have two Magilene's left. Um, unfortunately, that is not going to help me out much. Let me just check his deck. He does have the Summoner Monk and the Kuro Kuro Crow. Um, I believe he is able to summon two Kuro Kuro Crows and use his Rank Up Magic, um, to go ahead and get over my, um, Magilene. But in the end, uh... He gains a little bit of life points. We end up being at about 900 and 950. Uh, but he, for the end, the last play of the duel, he is able to use his Dark Bribe to make me draw my last card. Um, and he had one card left in his deck. So um, if I had just somehow stopped him from doing that, I would have won the duel by decking him out. Instead, he decks me out. So it was a great duel. It was down to the wire. <laughs> it depended on who decked out who. That's why I said the number 104 masquerade. Uh, if he had just gotten off his effect uh, once or twice to um, make Brad ditch a card from the top of his deck and put it in the graveyard, um, I would have won there. But great duel overall. It does show um, sort of some of the strengths of the deck. It is able to get the Megaton Magical Cannon off, like I lo or like like is the purpose of the deck and. Um, I hope you enjoyed this duel. I'm going to have a deck profile, but I think I'm going to change some cards around first, and then I will have another duel with the uh, new version of the deck, and we'll see how that works out. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for the next video.